Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Hello guys, right, this is the last day, this is Sunday of Blackpool, we are here, I've just set up all my close-up bits, put them out, again, you can have a look behind here, if you want to see my side of the table, in actual fact, let me show you this, look, this is the deck I've been using the whole of Blackpool, and check this out, every single card has got either one, two, three, four, five signatures on it, it's pretty a cool deck, good memories on there, look, look at this. This has been frying minds, this pack of cards, they've been spreading through, taking out any card they want, I can tell them what card they've taken, and I can find it in the deck. Look at that. That is one of the things you can do with Extractor. So, um, today is the last day. It is again a 9 till 5. I thought the last day was actually a bit shorter, but it's not. We are still working our butts off. Uh, but it's such good fun. We've got loads of new tricks, like I said. It's the same as what I said yesterday, but it is very exciting. Uh, today, we have to pack up as well at the end. We can show you the, the sort of takedown and stuff. But we've got the new vlog, obviously. Hope you guys are loving the vlogs that are coming out. We're going to be looking at maybe doing one of them every single week at the shop, a little behind the scenes of HQ, uh, showing you what it's like to actually be in a magic shop or work in a magic shop. Um, and also, we are going to be getting out more content for you guys, more social content, podcasts are coming out. And I... It's getting really loud in here, so I don't know whether the doors are open yet. Shouldn't have done, should it? No, we're still good. Um, so yeah, loads more content. Vlogs coming every single week. And then obviously we're gonna try and get some 360 footage on the stand, if I can, of obviously people coming up and doing some performances and demos and things like that, just so you can see what it's like to be a demo. Uh, we've tried to do app lives. I do apologize, it's been absolutely ridiculously busy. Uh, and I'm really frustrated, but we just haven't had the time to do it. So I do apologize to anyone waiting for an app live. We couldn't do it. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh yeah, new projects. We've been filming four new projects uh, that are going to be coming out soon, and like trailers for them, performances for them, and things like that. And even a brand new trick. We just filmed the instructions here at Blackpool. It is so good. We've shown it to a few people, and their minds were blown. Jamie, isn't it good? It is. There's a little teaser on yesterday's vlog. Oh yes, so there was. There is a reaction. To yes. This. It's so good, it's so good. But yeah, we love this effect. He showed us last Blackpool actually, and then we've just got around to filming instructions. This Blackpool is over again. But yeah, very, very exciting stuff. Uh, like I said, we've got one for Truity left. Um, a few of the other bits we've got, not many. Oh, we've actually got two for Truity left because that was a dem one, or the one that was on the table. So we've actually got two. Uh, Lovers Waltz, that's all we've got. Omen, that's all we've got. It's, it's, it's killer. Honestly, it has absolutely been insane. Support's been incredible. The buzz, again, has just been absolutely insane. These are all signed cards, like I showed you yesterday. Yeah, can't wait for you guys to sort of see the Dems later on with the 360 and bits like that, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I need to get my A into G because people are going to start walking through from up there in about two seconds. Cheers, guys. Okay, so we're here on the uh, uh, Custom Magic stand. I've got here loads, loads of different company logos on cars like so. Okay, Jamie, do me a favor. If you would, just shout stop. Have a look there. Get that on your head. Got it? And pop it in there. Do you know the brand? I do. Okay, great. So I want you to picture in your head the brand. I want you to imagine if this brand has like a physical item you could hold and picture yourself holding that. If it's like a service or something, imagine that the service, whatever it might be, okay? So just picture this in your head. Just hold your hand out for me. Okay, yep. Uh, okay, so this physical item, okay. And uh, just imagine you're holding that item. Uh, slight twitch in here. This is a squishy thing. Uh, this is clothing. This is uh, Lacoste, yes? Yes. Brilliant, fantastic. Good to meet you, mate. I'll have a great convention. Take care, guys. Where did that come from? How did you get out of me so fast? You know, you didn't come near me. Are you talking to me? You're talking to me, Jamie. Come and say that to my face. <laughs> let me show you this. Come in. So you all know about hiding key. Everybody knows about hiding key. But let me show you something with it that you may not know. It's uh, fun. By the way, I'm Chris. You're probably aware, but I wanted to show you anyway. Look, look at my nice writing. It's great. Look, three keys on my keychain. These really with me all the time. I bring it up right here, just like this. Show you all three keys. Look at the angles on this as well. When I show you this, you see it from the back, you can really see those keys are really on the keychain. It looks so good. All right, we come back around this side. Boom, look at this. Up here, watch the middle key, okay? You're going to see it swing back and forth until it chooses not to be there. Watch this. 
right in front of the camera. Stops being there right about now. Jamie, how many keys do you see there now? Two. And do you know where it goes? No. Here. No. I'll show you this. It's, it's really good. It's yeah, called... no, no, don't worry uh, about it. No, J Jamie, come back. Jamie. <laughs> All right, you are back. This is good. Memory Master is one of my favorite things. I really love it. I knocked it on the floor. <laughs> I love it so much. I keep it up for myself. Look, it's a load of image cards you can see. Would you reach in? I'll spin them around the table. Just grab uh, grab one, touch one, any that you like. Which one? This this one? Okay, we'll put it in the box, okay? It goes in the box. I missed the box. That's funny. I'm tired. It goes in the box. It's over there. Look, I'll grab some so that you don't have to, but I'll turn them face up, Jamie. I'll do a, a bunch all over the table. I'm going to turn away. You're going to turn one face down, and the way I'm going to know which one's missing is because I've already memorized what's face up on the table. So turn one down. You done? Yep. I'm going to look to tell you what's missing. It's the uh, the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, good. We do two this time. Turn two face down and then tell me when you're done. Done? Yep. Okay, good. We'll smush them together so it's harder. Uh, da -da. Okay, this is a little more difficult. I'll try and be faster. I'm trying not to look at the, the images whilst I do this, okay? Here we go. Now I'll look in motion with two of them. It's a little more tricky, but I can tell you already, I've not seen the, the clock and the umbrella. <laughs> look at that, cool. Now, now, if I look at what's here, right, because I've seen these, if I look at what's left, I can work out which one you placed in the box. We'll try this. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's, the, it's the dog. Yes, it's the dog. There we go. That's memory. It's also how you make a mess. So, Jamie Dawes, if that is indeed your real name, we are going to show you a new trick by Mr. Liam Montier. Who? <laughs> and this is Deck of Fortune. So, I am not a fortune teller by any means. I only learned the word cartomancy like yesterday. But we're going to give it a go because what I've got here is my training wheels deck. So, you can see that I've got all the playing cards on, but I've also got the pictures and the meanings and a little crib sheet so we can somehow muddle our way through a reading. Or hopefully, that's the idea anyway. Now we're going to be concerning ourselves with your past, your present and your future. Okay, so Jamie, name any card you like from the deck. We've got all 52 and I've organised them so that they're all together so we can find them easy for demo purposes. Three of hearts. Three of hearts, that'll be somewhere near the face. Let's take a look. Three of hearts. Right, now the three of hearts, I don't know if you can see that. The three of hearts is the sun. And that means you are going to die hungry, cold, and alone. Okay. Okay. Is that your past, your present, or future? None. <laughs> uh, we'll go uh, past. Past. Okay. Name a second card. Uh, let's go for the Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades. That'll be right near the back here somewhere. Jack of Spades. Okay. The Jack of Spades is the shepherd. Okay. And that, if I'm, you know, I, have, I haven't studied much, but it means disfigurement in an unfortunate gardening accident. <laughs> is that present or future? Uh, Present. <laughs> Present or future. Okay. One more card. Uh, let's go for the Eight of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds indeed. We can find that. And that is, what is that? That is the broken, what does that say? That is the broken glass. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, no, no. That means, <laughs> oh, no. That means unexpected affections from a badger. <laughs> so that's, none of this is good. No. Um, I don't know anything about fortune telling. So I could not tell you what this layout means or what it means for your life, but I do know about magic tricks. And I had a feeling that your past would be represented by the three of hearts. Sneaking suspicion that your present would be the jack of spades. And I just knew that the eight of diamonds was in your future. And that is Deck of Fortune by Liam Montier. He's not here because he's old and grumpy, but we miss him. And yeah, <laughs> buy that. Hi, I'm John Bannon, and this is my new trick, Strangers Gallery from Big Boy Media. Um, so this is a prediction trick. And I don't know about you, Jamie, but I find with predictions, the more I make, the luckier I get. So we're going to go for three predictions. That's number one, that's number two, that's number three. We cut those out of random spots in the deck, and we're going to come back to those. So now we just need something for you to predict. So Jamie, if you would, when I say, you know, when I riffle through the cards, any way you like, you just say stop, and we'll take it from there. Stop. Here. I'll try, I'll try and make it exactly where you said. Let's see what we got. 
Three of spades, okay, right. Now the idea is, if that three of spades matches any of the rest of my predictions, we count this as a success. So let's take a look. That's the first prediction is the three of spades. The second prediction is the three of spades. We're off to a good start. The third one is the three of spades. And if the last one is the three of spades, you would say that's a success. Now you're probably thinking the same thing I was when I first saw this, which is what kind of deck has four three of spades inside? They must all be from different decks. And you are exactly right. They are all from different decks. This three of spades here is from a yellow deck. That second three of spades, if I remember rightly, that's the one from the purple deck. That three of spades is definitely from a green deck. The last one is from the red deck. But none of those could have come from this deck because this deck is the blue deck. I'm John Bannon. That was Strangers Gallery. Thank you for watching. <laughs>too too too much there right so watch the big silk like this you take the big silk into the hand whenever you want you can still show a teeny tiny bit of that silk inside your hand you get the spectators to grab hold of your wrists and whenever you're ready you can quite simply make it vanish Ta -da! <laughs> that is called spirit my friends this little box right here yes. locked up in your dome you know i fight for you Hi, Alakazam team. Let's go for the snow deck with a totally blank deck. And what you just need is your imagination to imagine the spades, heart, diamond and clubs just right on this blank deck. So look at that. Now, uh, please, sir, could you put your hand just like this? Thank you. I, oh, I just turned the car because now I want you to imagine the color. What is it? Red one. So let's imagine this is a red bike design, a beautiful bicycle red bike design. So now, could you please let me know what's the card you can imagine on that? Three of clubs. Three of clubs. Look at that. Your imagination, let me know that this is a three of clubs. But if I had shown you this one or maybe that one, I don't know, maybe this one, maybe your imagination would have said something totally different, you know? But look at that. Please turn the card like this, okay, great. And put it face down on, in the middle of the deck. So now, thanks to you and thanks to your imagination, we only have one red back design and this is exactly the tree of clubs. Thank you so much. So here we are now for the last Trice effect by Andrew and Magic Dream. So this is a card trick. So for example, oh, let's say, Jeremy. Nice to meet you, my name is Joan. Oh, look at that. I would like you to think about a black car. You got it? Yeah. Please, Jeremy, I would like you to think about a red car. Yes. Yeah. Just to be sure you don't think about the same car, right? So now, let's say we are going to introduce something very, very magical, okay? So now, here we are. What was the name of your car? King of Clubs. And Jamie, what was yours? Nine of Hearts. Nine of Hearts. So look at that. Something very simple is just to snap my finger and make one card rise up from the deck. And this is your card, right? And you told me the three of Hearts, right? Nine of Hearts. Oh, I, I, I was trying. Are you sure? Hey, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One more time. And this is it. Hi, Lakazam. So, I have two patients in my life. The first is Magic Tricks, and today I'm in Blackpool Convention. It's very cool, okay? And the second passion is I like take video and pictures, and I change this with social media. So, you have the possibility to like, to share, and to pin the publication. And today, I'm pinned like a publication. It's very strange, but look up like this okay so i spread the card like this and you say stop and you say stop when you want stop okay it's the 10 of spade take the trophy and sign the card okay thank you and i forget this in the deck so my job now is to find the card into the deck okay look just like that
Right, let me tell you what the time is, guys. It is already half ten. We've been here an hour and a half. It's been absolutely insane. Loads of people picking up the bundle deals. And I'll tell you what is fooling people today, Casino Con. A brand new effect. Steve Gore actually came over earlier on. It's the first time he's seen the physical products, believe it or not. And he is loving it. It looks incredible. The packaging's wicked. It's got the Alakazam seal of approval. Let me show you this right here. Check that out. Gorgeous. And I've been telling people about Unlimited, what you get. And I've been telling people the price. And every single person cannot believe it. I actually had someone came up, come up who does like uh, websites for a living. He said, I actually don't know how you're going to make money on that. It is ridiculous what they're getting. The maintenance of it alone will cost, like, it's just ridiculous the price of Unlimited. You guys are going to love it. And really exciting. We've been speaking to creators. I spoke to another one just now, Jake. I didn't tell you about this, actually, uh, who said that is a wicked idea. And he'll be happy to actually add Unlimited Originals on there. So there's going to be stuff that's only available on that platform. There's a few people now that are really excited about creators and of course uh, you guys that are going to be getting so much bang for your buck i really can't wait for you guys to see it but yeah i'm gonna have to go because as you can see it's starting to get busy again people coming around wanting to see the tricks but yeah all right enjoy okay jamie i want to take you on a virtual shopping trip is that okay of course Excellent. So, uh, by the way, you're dressed, fella. I think you work in, uh, you you shop in Aldi's little. Yep. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Uh, definitely a Tesco's <laughs> shopper, right? Yep. Excellent. Um, now you've got a thought in your head at the moment, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to go into Tesco's, and you are going to go and purchase this item. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, walk into the entrance. Yep. Uh, oh, I'm getting a feeling that you've stopped already. Okay, is that because you're in the fresh fruit and vegetable aisle? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, you're looking around for this item. It's only the one item that you want. So just go to where it is and grab it. Have you got it? Yep. Excellent. Visualize this in your mind and walk out of the store. Okay. You get a tap on your shoulder. Someone says, excuse me, sir, did you pay for that item? What are you going to say? <laughs> then come back in to the self-checkout and beep it through. Okay. You done that? Okay, you're walking out uh, and you look at the receipt in your mind mm -hmm. and you have bought tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is Cerebral Shopping by Wayne Dobson. Oh, do you want a close-up? Not with elastic band. <laughs> we'll do it again. And that is Cerebral Shopping by Wayne Dobson. It's lucky I'm a professional, right? Okay. And <laughs> you're gonna fing add this all in, aren't you? And this is Cerebral Shopping. Stop laughing! And that was Cerebral Shopping by Wayne Dobson. <laughs> Jamie, watch the pound coins. We're gonna try and balance them on top of each other. It takes a lot, so hang on. Side that. And Jamie, with the power of your mind, I want you to imagine spinning that top coin. Amazing. Keep going. And the other way. Say when. Oh, there you go. So you thinking of me? But you're just only. Hello, Nico. Can I show you a trick? Hello. I'm Dave, by the way. Now, Nico, I have a, a, a box. It's a Lego box. It's a, le it's a Lego box. Hang on. Um, a, a Lego box. Um, a Lego box. Oh, a Lego box. Uh, and a Lego box. Uh, and uh, well, it's going to be a Lego box. Now these are just regular bits of Lego, and uh, uh, Nico, I'm going to build a little box here, right in front of you. These, they're just little Lego parts, and they can all come apart. Now make sure I'm doing no funny bits here, uh, Nico. I'm just going to build a little box like this, and I have a lid for my box. 
Okay, no funny trap doors in the box, just an empty box. And I'm gonna do this at my fingertips in slow motion so you can see nothing weird is gonna go on. I'm just gonna put the lid on the box and leave that there right in front of you. I will go nowhere near that box. Now, could you reach inside here and take one of the cards or me, anyone you like? Perfect. Could you write your name on the card in nice big bold letters, please? Thank you very much. And all you have to do is say, say stop, any way you like. Stop. Put the card there for me. The rest of the cards go on top like that. That secures the card somewhere in the middle of the packet. Now, Nico, would it be impressive if I could reach inside here, find your card, take it out of the packet, fold it in half and half again and put it inside the box of that you're seeing? Impressive, right? Yeah. I already did. Have a look down here, Nico. Inside the box is a playing <coughs> card. Nothing else, just a playing card. The box is empty, just Lego. And if you have a look at that, that will be your card, your signature, just like that. There you go. Thank you very much, guys. This town so I'm feeling so wired. It's 4 a.m. I'm not even tired. We're in your car. We can drive uh, We've got yes. one prediction card. Yes. Okay, we're going to leave it right there in the envelope. Inside this deck are 52 different cards. There are no jokers. Now, the, the card that matches the one in the envelope is in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. You certainly don't know where it is, but it's your job to find it. Can you give me any number, the first number that comes into your head, okay. between 1 and 52? Uh, 16. 16? 16. One, 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 six. Okay, is there any way I could have known you were going to choose no. the number 16? No you sure? Do me a favour, take hold of the cards. Have a look through them, make sure it is just a shuffled deck. Yes, it is. Yep. And can you turn them face up, so I want everyone to see this. Can you deal 16 cards into my hand? Five of hearts? Yes. Okay. Inside the envelope is one prediction. You take it out. And you manage to do it. High five to you. Two things, one prediction, I'll leave it there, and a poker chip. Can I get your hand, sir? Close your hand around a chip, do not look at it. Okay, perfect, leave it there though, don't switch it on me, all right, because that, that will make the trick go wrong. Um, I've got some jokers here, they've got two things in common. First of all is that they are all jokers, they're pretty cool artwork. The second is that they are all from different casinos, Dunes, Sand, Sahara, Maxim, Desert Inn, they're all different. I'm going to give the cards a mix up like this, and then, what's your name, sorry? Jade, lovely Jade. Can you just touch any joker you want? I'm going to lay them out on the table. Any joker you like, just touch it. Okay, I don't want to see it, so pick it up. I don't want to touch it. Pick it up and have a look at the casino. Turn it over, have a look at the casino. And show the camera as well. All right, show the camera so you see it. Love it, I'll take it back. Awesome. Now, I went to one of these casinos and I got a poker chip. Do the honours. Have a look at where I went. Dunes, hey, look at that. And how much is it? Right, give it back to me then. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, and there's a prediction there. Take a look. Dunes, look at that. Right, imagine we've just rocked up in Vegas, all right? And we're going to go and play some cards at Dunes Casino. So let me take the cards like this. And I'm going to shuffle them up. One, 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 whoop. One, 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 one. Now, Jade, can you just reach over, cut off some cards and place them there for me? So just lift off a little packet. Lovely. And then put them all on top of that. I don't really want to touch them. Good job. And now I'm going to deal out the cards. So one to you, one to me. One to you, one to me. You, me, you, me, you, me. Perfect. Now, let's see what you got if we were playing cards. No surprise. Five of a kind, right? But jokers are wild, as you know. Uh, but they are wild, so if I snap my hand over my cards, I can turn them into the Royal Flush, look at that. But I wouldn't want to win $25, check this out, I'd want to win 25000 there you go. Hello, right, the, what's the time actually? Nearly there. So what we got, an hour and 10 minutes? Yeah, wow, no, longer than that, two hours. About two hours. Nice one, right, it is going crazy quick though. Uh, 
loads of stuff being selling out. Extractors obviously nearly gone. Casino guns, cons nearly gone. There's loads of goodies that are absolutely flying out. It's incredible. Uh, voice is still in check actually. So I think I've learned how to project my voice. I've done this now for six years, believe it or not, Blackpool. And the first trick I ever done at Blackpool is this one right here, killer. Um, so tonight, I will take you along tonight. Obviously, it's going to be a nice chill one. We pack up. We'll put. We'll show you the pack up footage and stuff if you want to see that. Take it to the van. Take the van back, and then we're leaving home tomorrow. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'm happy with how everything's gone. I've told people about the price of Unlimited. I told you this earlier on. I forgot what I've said. My mind is frazzled, uh, but it's been a really, really good day. Again, film loans for trailers and everything like that. And yeah, just can't moan really. There's my mother. Look at her doing nothing as per usual. Mum. Give us a wave if you do nothing. Oh, there you go, look at that. <laughs> Got her. Anyway, right, I'll leave it. Oh, Drew's at the end there as well doing bricks. Loads of people are trying to see bricks, but yeah, enjoy. All right, see you guys soon. And evaporates flying out. See you later. Bye. I'm gonna show you a lovely card trick that uses this deck of cards. The faces have Lego minifigures on, and the backs are all made out of these Lego bricks. Now I'm gonna ask my friend here to take a card out. Doesn't matter which one it is, thank you. Could you sign the face of it, please, Alvi? Thank you. Now, have you guys heard of the ambitious card? Because the card you've just chosen is an ambitious card. If I put it back in the middle of the deck, it's gonna jump straight up to the top of the deck like that. This is not a double. That would be a good trick, right? One day I'm going to work out how to do that trick. Instead, I'm going to show you this version. No one knows an ambitious card visually. This is what it would look like if the card reached up through the deck and jumped to the top. There's your card. But this is the bit I really don't understand. Is where did the other cards go? Hey, that's what we got to do when we're recording for vlogs, all right? That's what happens. We just all just sit here and don't say a word. But no, this is what it is now. So this is the finito. We have now finished Blackpool, haven't we? We're all packed up. Everything's in the van. Yeah. Apart from my clothes, obviously. Yeah. Because they're still here. Yes. But it was a good one, wasn't it? Yep. So I just want to say as well, thank you to everyone that come up to see us at the Alexander. Try and project your voice over to here by the microphone. I really don't want to raise my voice. I don't want to lose it. But it's okay, you're finished now. It's okay if you lose your voice. Yeah, really? just try and shout in this direction, but look at the camera. Okay. I'll, there you go. I'll try that. <laughs> right, so, I want to say thank you to everyone that visit, uh, visited the stand. It was really great to see you. So many great comments. Glad you're all liking the, the vlogs and the lives and the live launches. And thank you for all the support of the, the mm. new products as well. So anyone that didn't make it to Blackpool, make sure you download the app because some of these new releases will be released first on the app so yep. you'll get first grabs at it um, and i will say as well the e2 was a complete sellout and once again the king was blowing minds oh it was very good <laughs> i was blowing minds you're right thanks dad for that one <laughs> joke only joke no the uh just want to say as well the vanishing deck was incredible wasn't it evaporated mm. by henry ferris everyone was coming up Literally saying how good it is. Ben Earl and the best vanishing yeah. deck he's ever seen. Yeah. Loads of people just saying how good it was. It's honestly incredible. It looks amazing. I just uploaded a video actually of it on our social so you can see it. Yeah, and Henry. He was so yeah. good. He's like, what, 14 years old 14. or something? Yeah, and he was on the stand, absolutely smashing it. Yeah, he was great. Everyone, we had some special guests on the stand. We had Henry Ferris, we had Martin Pierce, we had Drew Perry. Drew doing his effect fricked. Um, Martin doing lucky numbers, yep. and obviously Henry doing evaporate, and all of the guys absolutely smashed it. It mm. was so so good. But Henry being 14 years old, oh, it's I mean, unbelievable. He, went in it, he bossed it. That's what it's First about. Time behind a dealer's stand. That's what it's about, isn't it? I mean, he was there. He showed us it last Blackpool, and obviously the years come round. And we, we saw it, and obviously he was on a stand demo, so it was nice to see that he come around, showed us the prototype last year, and then this year he was on it demo. Yeah. Mum was there, what a legend! Yeah. It was just wicked, really, really good. Um, and then yeah, all the other ones were, everything was just good. Really. Yeah, it, it was great. It's been a great convention. Thank you all for your support. And now we'll most probably uh, get ready, go out for dinner. Mm. And then in the morning, we'll start the long drive home. Yeah, but the more important stuff, we've all got drinks here, bar Mum, because she's already down there. What did you have? Tia Maria. Oh, she's got another one here. Tia Maria, go and grab it. What have you got, it. Dad? What you got? I've got the old uh, JD and Coke. Oh. 
And I've got a Guinness, so shout out to Roy Smith for the Guinness. I didn't split the G because I forgot about that, so I didn't even do that. But next one, I will try to do that for you. Alright? But yeah, that's all. That's Enjoy. it. We are here at the Arabella, that is where we stay, get the best night's sleep. You wonder how we get every day, loads of you come up, it's because we stay at the Arabella. Beautiful breakfast provided by Hayley over there. <laughs> so, honestly, the breakfast is so delicious. It's so cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Right, hey, breakfast is delicious. Now, that is where we get our beverages and the bed's very comfortable, so we get a good night kip around here, don't we? But yeah, this is where we stay every year. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Gets a blue tick. And one of the hosts is really nice. Hayley's always here. The other one. Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. Oh, no. oh, unbelievable. Look at her back there, I tell you. But yeah, all good. All good. But anyway, it was very good. It's so... Look at her face. She's hating it. <laughs> she is hating. Look at her face. There she goes. Lovely. Anyway, right, that was all. But yes, we're now gonna go out and get some dinner. And I'll see you guys soon. To the loop.